Hey what's up guys, Spins50 here and today I am back on Alora with another video and in today's video I'm continuing my Road to Max series but before I get into this video I'd just like to explain something uh, as you guys probably already know I haven't uploaded on YouTube for quite some time now and that's mainly because I have been away uh, during the Christmas and New Year time period and I only arrived back uh, yesterday afternoon so I've decided to hop online today and pump out a video for you guys Anyways guys, I'm continuing with my Road to Max series as I said before, and here are my current stats. So I've got some skills that are nearly maxed, such as mining, uh, we've got fire making, which is getting up there, uh, wood cutting, slayer, hunter, and rune crafting, which are all uh, nearly in the 90s or in the 90s, and I have a total level of 1,926. So a few more episodes and I think I'll be maxed. I'm going to keep this uh, Road to Max series quite short just because uh, I don't feel like grinding it out too much and I also have another another idea planned for you guys anyways guys I'm gonna go open a hundred crystal keys just because uh, before I brought, brought quite a lot of vote books and I forgot that I didn't have my uh, thing activated with this account guardian so I didn't get any bonus XP but I'm gonna get that activated as soon as I upload this video anyways guys I'm gonna open these 100 um, crystal keys that I purchased cost me around 40 mil and uh, as you can see I have some items from my last video where I opened these again anyways guys I'm gonna play some music over this and I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back soon <laughs> Alright guys, here we have it, the loot from 100 Crystal Keys, and unfortunately I didn't receive anything rare. I think the best loot I got would have, have to been the Dragon Plate Legs and uh, the Runet Bars because they're priced at around 30 to 40k each, which is around 10 mil worth of Runet Bars. Also got some Magic Logs, not all of these uh, I did manage to obtain because they were in the last video. Anyways guys, that's about it for the Crystal Keys. Uh, I think I'm going to go train a stat now, so I think I might train... Um, rune crafting and then I may go and train agility but I'll be back when I'm all geared up and uh, prepared to train the skill alright guys I'm back and I'm all prepared to do some rune crafting as you can see I've got my pouches here which I recently just found out that you can use and it makes rune crafting a lot easier and faster just because of the fact that you can fit another like 20 pure essence into it uh, so I definitely suggest if you don't know what these are or if you don't have them on Alora you go and buy them from the rune crafting store all up it's like 500 points rune crafting points which you receive uh, probably at level like 70 or 80 anyway so it's not too hard to get these anyways guys I'm not going to record myself doing uh, rune crafting just because it'll be quite boring but I'll be back when I've made some decent progress Okay guys, I'm coming up to my last inventory before I reach 95 rune crafting. Uh, this took some time, definitely took like 2 hours I think. Took a lot longer than I thought it would, but these uh, pouches here definitely make it a lot easier. 
Um, I did probably around 5,000 uh, death runes or something like that in between that time, which isn't too bad. Um, I was doing it quite fast. I was just using the thief message, you know, method where you teleport to the thiev thieving zone. Uh, it just makes things a lot easier. Now we'll just go into our last inventory and then move on to the next skill. So we empty this. Maybe this one. We should nearly have it. And there we go guys, we reached 95 rune crafting, which took around 2 hours. And uh, I was, I'm definitely glad I've got to uh, this level. I went from 86 to 95, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, so we went up around 9 levels. We also have um, some rune crafting gear that I brought. It costs one or well, three thousand rune crafting points, and that took quite some time as well. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but it definitely looks pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to move on to some smithing, so I'll be back when I'm ready to do uh, that. All right, guys, I'm back, and I've decided that I'm actually going to smith these adamant bars in the wilderness, just because you get quite a lot of bonus experience if you're above the level 25. I've also got my dragon skimmer to slash through the webs if there are any up at the moment. Hopefully, no one kills me because that would suck quite a lot. And here we have the web, which we have to slash through. These webs are really annoying because um, if you don't have a sharp weapon welded, you won't be able to slash through them, which really does suck uh, if you need to get there or get away from that place. So we're going to go and smith these here. Hopefully we get some really awesome experience. So 21k per adamant bar, well, every three bars. So that's just crazy though. Uh, so I think I'm going to get up to around 89 and then I can start smithing some bodies. So guys, I'll be back when I've reached 89 uh, smithing. Alright guys, I'm back and I just finished up getting 89 smithing and I'm nearly at 90 actually. And I found a method that's going to benefit me with fletching as well and that is to make rune darts. And pretty much right now I'm smithing the dart tips. Once I've smithed all these rune bars into these tips here, I will use a feather on them and the XP you get in the wilderness is insane. So pretty much guys, I will be back when I've smithed all of my rune bars. Hopefully I'll be at around, uh, let's say, 92, 93 smithing. But yeah guys, I'll be back when I've um, finished smithing all these rune bars. Alright guys, I am back and unfortunately I have some bad news for you guys. I lost around 5 minutes recording. I was actually recording myself getting 99 fletching, 90 crafting, and 95 smithing. But that's all good because the clips were pretty boring anyways. But I did lose uh, the method, well the video clip of the method to get to 99 fletching from 81 in around 5 minutes. But I'm just going to explain that right now. What you want to do is, like I mentioned before when I was smithing rune bars, is that you want to have the rune bar and then you want to smith it into the rune darts. And every rune bar gives you 15 uh, dart tips. Once you do that you want to use them on feathers and I suggest using them in the wilderness because you get that bonus XP and you actually do get uh, quite a lot of bonus experience and I was literally getting like 27,000 experience per 15 dart tips which was like literally like a million XP every 10 seconds so I got up to 99 in around 4 minutes or something like that so it's just crazy. Uh, I also got 90 crafting just before and as you can see, I have dragon stones in my inventory, which I have been crafting in the wilderness, giving me around 17,000 experience per one, totaling at around 400,000 experience per inventory, which is just crazy. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this episode. I made some decent progress. I got to 95 smithing, 99 fletching, 90 crafting, and 95 rune crafting. And these skills here are some of the hardest, uh, especially rune crafting and smithing. Anyways, guys, I have a total level of 1,976, and I think I'm going to add some flower poker clips to the end of this video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, we're nearly at 1,020 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. Uh, I think we're like three subscribers off. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next video.